Hi, this is Harish Bali from Technofair.com. On your Mac system, if you want to use two applications at the same time on the same window, you can do that using split screen by using Al Capitan. To learn more, watch this video. First things first, I am on Apple support. Can your Mac use Al Capitan? It requires 2 GB of memory and 8.8 .8 GB of storage space. These are the versions of Mac that can use Al Capitan. To know your Mac version, go to Apple icon on the top left and then about this Mac. After having seen the version, go to App Store and look for OS X Al Capitan. Here it is. Download and install OS X Al Capitan. This can take about 20 to 30 minutes. Once you are done with installation, there are a few basic things that you will need to do. Go back to Apple icon and then system preferences. If you are an iMac user, you may use this option mouse and MacBook users can use trackpad. Make sure that you are under more gestures and check this box mission control. This will help you to use swipe through fingers on the trackpad. You can see demonstration on the right with three fingers upward swipe on the trackpad. You can see all apps that are open appearing on the screen and similarly using four finger swipe from right to left and left to right you can switch from one desktop to another. One more minor setting before I get into showing how to do split screen on Mac. Go back to system preferences, then mission control and ensure that this particular box is checked. Displays have separate spaces. After checking this box, you will need to log out of Macbook and then log in again. This needs to be done only once. I know of three different ways to split screen on Mac. Let me start with the first. I have two windows open here in front of me. One is Google Keep on Chrome and other one is Amazon.com on Firefox. I am going to drag the Google Keep upwards from the title bar and push it towards the top hitting it twice. And there I will see the desktop icon drop it next to that. Drag the second window to the first window and drop it there. And here it shows the split screen. To see it on the full screen, simply tap on it once. You can easily change the size that each screen covers by simply dragging it towards the left or right if you don't like the 50-50 thing. But of course, you can't stretch it to the extreme right. Now I can easily look at Acer and prepare notes on Google Keep. I can easily move the split screen window from right to left holding the title bar and it adjusts the size automatically. Now the second method to open split screen for that if there are 4 or 5 different apps that are open in front of me, what I will need to do is do a finger swipe. I will show you how but before that let me open 3-4 more apps. I am now switching desktop by using 4 finger swipe. I have opened few apps on my system. Now I am using 3 finger swipe upwards on the trackpad. I can see all these apps. If I wish to have Microsoft Word, I am going to drag it and put it here. On the other split side, if I need calendar, I am pushing it and putting it on the Microsoft Word. I can see the split screen, click on it once and it occupies half of, of the screen. This was the second way to use split screen. Now let me show you the third way in which I am going to open Gmail on one browser and Google Calendar on the other. Actually this third method is the easiest to follow. I have got Gmail on one browser and Google Calendar on the other. To follow this method, hold on to this green button and drag it to the side where you want to put it on the split screen. I am moving towards the right and leave it. It splits the screen, click on the other browser once and it takes the half of the screen. Now you can move it around the way we did it earlier. I can now check my schedules on Gmail and put it on calendar whatever is important for me. So that was about three different ways to use split screen on Mac. I am sure you will enjoy using split screen on Mac. If you found this tutorial good, do give it a thumbs up. 
Also watch other interesting videos by clicking on the links appearing in front of your screen. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.